What's up guys? Happy Sunday. I am Tara with Tara Simon Studios and today's throne room confession is all about identity. So um, I don't know if how much you guys know of me, those of you who are watching, um, I have been doing music all of my life since I was three um, years ago. I was on um, kind of like an American Idol. I was on the show called X Factor and I was very poorly edited and, um, and that really created a lot of scrutiny. I was I was very unfairly judged by basically the world and I received a lot of hate uh, for, for things that I didn't do and, and, and for being portrayed in a way that I just was not congruent to who I was. And um, I learned then a lot about identity. I didn't know I was learning about identity then, but, but I do believe that um, during that time God was preparing me um, and, and allowing me to go through that to really teach me who I am. And identity is this weird word. At least it used to be uh, elusive to me. I used to be like, well, identity, like, you know, people look at driver's licenses and what's your identity? Show me your identity. Who are you? And it's usually your name and what you look like and what you do, right? But that's actually not our identity. Our identity at least if you believe in God, is who he says you are. And I learned through X Factor that being misunderstood was one of the, the things that I absolutely hated the most. Like it really, really irked me for people to think something of me that was just not true. And I felt the need to prove to them and to write to them and say, but that's not what happened. And I, I, didn't, I didn't say that in that context and they edited it and blah, blah, blah. And I got so exhausted trying to be liked and trying to be understood and try not to be misunderstood. Um, years later, fast forward to just a couple months ago, maybe it was a couple months ago, a month ago, I don't know. Uh, yeah, a couple months ago, um, I, I reacted to Cardi B's WAP and got pretty upset and emotional about about what I was seeing. I couldn't finish the video. And um, and she uh, reposted on her Instagram. And and of course, then all of her 89 million or whatever uh, subscribers were like swarming at me and doing the same exact thing then that the people that watched me on X Factor did years ago. And it was interesting this time because it was like, like almost a decade later. And all of my fans, you guys, who I love so much, were trying to defend me, but getting pummeled themselves. And so I got all these DMs saying, I want to defend you, but I'm getting like attacked and I don't know how you're handling this. And are you okay? There were so many of you um, reaching out uh, worried saying, are you all right? Like, I know this has got to be so hard for you. And my response to, to you and to whoever wrote me was this. I know who I am and I know whose I am. And so really it doesn't bother me at all. Like I don't mind, I don't mind the scrutiny. I don't mind being, um, being misunderstood anymore because I've, I know what that's like. I've walked through that before and I had to learn that whether someone says something good about me or whether someone says something terrible about me, neither of those things matter. The compliments or the disses because I've already settled in myself who I am and whose I am. And I am encouraging you today, if you're someone who really cares, like you have the fear of man, you really care about what people think of you, um, I, I encourage you to press into that. Like, like sit in that and allow yourself to be uncomfortable in that and, and really journal and, and reach out, cry out and figure out why. Was there a past wound? Was there a trauma? Is there an insecurity that's a, it's an underlying reason why you need the approval of others to validate the lack of feelings you have for yourself? Like really, what is it? Because for me, I know I, know I had trauma for sure. And I know that um, I was codependent for sure. And so I did need the validation of others. Uh, at least, and I didn't recognize it, but now looking back, I know I did. Um, so I really encourage you to um, just just press into that and because there is freedom. I want you to know there is freedom on the other side. I am now stronger and, and more equipped and ready to take on more of that because it, it just like a duck's back. It just rolls right off. And so I want you guys to know uh, if you follow me and if you're a fan of mine, a friend, a family member of mine in, in the Terabytes clan, um, it, there's going to be a lot more 
where that came from and I, I just don't want you to worry I don't I want you to be ready and I want you to to hopefully you're watching me and you take my lead and you allow boldness to come into your life so that you can light up the darkness within your sphere of influence because everybody including you I'm speaking to who who are watching this you have a sphere of influence every single day I don't care if you're a stay-at-home mom and you have a 10 month old and that is the only human contact you have you are influencing that life and that is a high calling that's a big deal you could be a fortune 500 owner and, and you have hundreds of employees you have a huge sphere of influence but I'm, I'm trying to get this point across to you whatever your sphere of influence is choose to know who you are so that you can lead others in the knowledge of who they are that creates um, an obliteration of shame and it creates a courage and a boldness in speaking truth that you cannot get anywhere else so this is all about identity today and I want you guys to know that um, I am renewed this is who I am I am restored this is who I am I am made new I am worthy of authentic and reckless love and I am taking my place and I encourage you guys to do the same I really really do I love you so much and I'm proud of you I hope this was an encouragement to you today and I'll see you guys in the next one bye